Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Leo October 26, 2022. With Saturn now direct in your solar 11th house, you're in better shape to meet your responsibilities. It's a good idea to look for ways to simplify or cut back, even if this is not the easiest choice. You are taking care of unfinished business that will help move things forward on this day before a new moon. Truths coming to light this week help you get a grip on the reality of friendships or projects, a long-term plan, aspiration, or goal. It's easier to make better arrangements with a sense of what is viable and what isn't. You're able to put procrastinating ways behind you in some regions of your life, and it feels good to do so. Also today, a conversation with someone can be a source of comfort, security, or good advice. A sensual and sexual period is upon you. Dazzling Venus, our goddess planet of beauty, attraction, and romance, swims into new seas. She will bring her magnitude to your solar eighth house of intimacy and sexuality. This guarantees super intense, transformative, and deep lovemaking in the weeks ahead. If you and your significant other have combined assets or investments, they will also likely see some positive news in the weeks to come. You may consider investing in new stocks or cryptocurrency. If the two of you have wanted to apply for a line of credit or mortgage, do so now. Who do you want to work with? The Venusian moon in Libra is focused on joint endeavors, especially as it conjuncts Mercury in Libra, trines Saturn in Aquarius, and trines Mars in Gemini. You may feel assertive and progressive as you seek out opportunities to connect with your colleagues from all over. Whether it is online or in person, you might feel notably social. You could use these transits to branch out and explore your options for forming new partnerships. There might be someone worth including in your inner professional circle. Two days after the Sun and Venus return to begin the only planetary activity in your financial sector this year, they are joined by the Moon with potentially game-changing implications. An alignment with the Sun not only creates today's new Moon but a solar eclipse, something that can energize money matters and get the ball rolling. With today's planetary position you are bound to feel some tension around getting what you want. You can try to ignore it, but in the end your frustration will only rise up with very little control. Taking control is recommended in your diet, your exercise regimen and your daily schedule. Getting the rest you need determines your approach to daily life, so why not control your bedtime and wake up on the right side of the bed tomorrow? Today's eclipsing new moon comes just two days after the Sun and Venus return to your financial sector, getting the first planetary activity on this side of the financial fence for the year off to a good start. This is creating the kind of momentum that makes this a good day for money matters, taking the initiative, for new beginnings or just for drawing a new line in the sand. The Sun has just turned the solar spotlight onto your financial situation and money matters, with a chance to look things through fresh eyes. After the Sun and Venus left your relationship sector over the weekend and with Mercury ending all planetary activity on the relationship front later this week, the Moon's final hours here couldn't be more important. The Moon will return every four weeks but a chance to become more emotionally engaged today comes just as there is something real to tap into. Our Eyes in the Sky Today has some beautiful aspects. As the psychic realms continue to tap on our personal oracular doors, we are all being asked to open our third eye to the messages coming from the other side of the paranormal realms. Jupiter retrograde swims back into Pisces and pulls at our collective need to let go of past emotional wounds and break away from the normal routine. Under the influence of the intense Scorpio sun, you can either let things eat you alive or allow changes to happen the way they're intended. This is a time of year where we're all being asked to let go of mental baggage and evolve to a higher form of ourselves. Once this gets stripped away, you will feel bare and vulnerable for a reason. In fact, right now you're being guided by your ancestral connections, so reach out in whatever way you feel comfortable for signs and clues along the way. You might look at the clock at the same time every day, or you could see little messages around you that let you know you're on the right track. Yes, there are many obstacles right now, but this is also a fantastic opportunity to focus on your inner light and show the world who's boss. In the early morning, the Libra moon trines Saturn in Aquarius, 
helping us to attend to our responsibilities. Others seek us out for advice, relying on us to make fair judgment calls. In turn, we might seek guidance from elders or community advisors. Under this aspect, we get the most done by taking cues from those who came before us. Getting perspective on the past helps us to innovate old protocols to make them relevant for modern times. We look for cooperative solutions and wind up creating enterprises that are sustainable for all. Mid-morning, the moon conjuncts Mercury in Libra, causing us to become attached to our opinions. This influence is ideal if we need to make a point, but it can also create blind spots in our arguments. Being too emotionally concerned with outcomes makes us desperate to have our rationale validated. If we are not affirmed, we can become upset and passive-aggressive, liable to ice others out for refusing to agree with our position. This is the place from which prejudice is born, as we devise excuses to other those whose sentiments deviate from our own. It is best to keep conversations light at this time, 